Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Jumping Let's Play. Today's episode will be taking a look at Trails by Keymaster Games. So join me as we trek across North America's national parks. See you in a moment. So here we are set up and ready to go for Trails. So as always we'll discuss the setup and then display a few games of the few turns of the game. So First up are our tiles. So these will be what we'll be travelling through. We've got our five tiles here, and then we've got trail head and trail end on either side of them. These five are shuffled and then placed down randomly, and then we've got our sort of resources just placed underneath those just to help us out there. In the middle tile, we place this bear token. This represents the wildlife, and we place this in easy reach of everyone. Anyone who lands on this uh, will be able to roll the dice and they get a bonus action. Above the trail end, we place the sun tracker. This will be basically our round tracker throughout the game. As it proceeds to move left, uh, we will get different bonuses. On either side, we have badges. We have two badges laid out. When you get to trailhead or trail end, you can trade in your resources, that's acorn, rocks, and leaves, for a variety of different badges, including the one that's in your hand. Here we have our photos. So these will be uh, cards that we can get throughout the game, such as from here. And the rest of the badges are placed here. Underneath, as we've just alluded to, we just place the relevant resources. So we've got our acorns here, we've got our rock, we've got our leaves. And then under this one, for the end game, we have our uh, victory tile for the most birds. So we just leave that there with the uh, one of the spare tiles. So on your turn, you are going to either move one or two tiles and take that action. So for example, uh, we can move here and take one of these, or we can move here, trade in a resource to take a photo card. And then we also have our canteen here, which allows you to move more than that. So say we wanted to move here, we would just use our canteen, empty it, and then it doesn't refill till we get back to the trail head. So, uh, as we just said there, on your turn you take one or two moves or use your canteen. So we're just going to start off going nice and simple and going there. And then this player is going to do exactly the same. So the player on the left, they're going to move one, two. So they're going to take this here, the rock, and they get a chance to roll on this dice. So they're going to roll the dice and then that is going to move the wildlife marker to the appropriate tile and then they're going to perform that action. So they actually get a leaf as well, which is quite handy there. So if we just take a look, see what we've got here. So we've got three acorns. That one's not going to be useful to us at the moment. However, there is a chance to um, get one of these with different actions. So this player here is going to move there. They're going to spend that one and they're going to take a photo card. So the photo card will always be worth... Uh, a number of points it can be zero and it will uh, sometimes have these birds on them which will go towards the uh, most birds at the end of the game so we'll just place that in front there so this player is going to move here and they're going to take one and they'll roll this again so that moves to here and they take an acorn as well so our next player they will move and then we're going to move here and we're going to trade in one of those acorns and we're going to trade it in for two rock there. Now this player is going to move here and take that. And then our last turn, before we head to the trail end, we're going to go here and uh, we've got a few different things that we can do. So, uh, in order, we are going to move our player round like so. We are going to uh, take the action that's here. So we get to roll the dice. And we get another acorn. Uh, we then get to uh, buy one of the badges. So we're going to go for this one here, which is going to cost us three rock. And it's going to cost us 
one leaf so we place those back in there and that gives us three points we also get a one-time bonus with this card which is two of these so we place that there and then here we can actually play this card as well which will give us uh, two points and cost one less point, uh, one less acorn for each other acorn badge that we have. So we've got our first two badges here. Now that we've done that, we will replenish that badge there and this badge here, and we will move the sun track along. It's now the second player's turn, so they are going to go here, and they're going to turn this into two of them, and that's their turn done. So now we are going to move let's have a look see what we need here eh? let's go there and then we're going to turn that into two of these and that is our turn done and then this player is going to move here and turn around and then they're going to do a variety of different things as well so see they get the sun bonus so if they'd like to they can Take one of those and let's change it for two of those. We then get to score one of our badges. So we can't score this one because we have no leaves. Uh, but we can score this one. So we place that in front of us. Pay the two there. And it gets one victory point. And he chooses one of these three to then take as his uh, bonus. We're then going to move over one, and then this is going to flip to its night side. So now on the night side, these are going to have different abilities, very much similar to the uh, abilities that are on the day side, just a bit more powerful. So now we can trade uh, one resource for one of each of the other resources, which should be quite handy. And then we keep going back and forth until... The sun has made its way across each of these, gets here, and all of these are turned over to their night side. At that point, you'll then count up all of your victory points. So we'll take a look at our cards here, our photo cards as well, and determine a winner. Remembering that whoever has the most birds gets the four point bonus. And then if there are any ties, then there is a uh, tiebreaker situation um, as well so that's the uh, demonstration of the gameplay we'll head back up top to, to discuss our final thoughts thank you so there we have it a, a quick gameplay guide to trails so overall um, I feel that it is a, a very enjoyable game but before we get to the final final thoughts we'll just discuss the uh, components and the gameplay itself so first up the components um, I'm really impressed with this game uh, all the pieces um, really thematic really draw you into the game for something that is otherwise quite an abstract game you are uh, moving your worker and you're taking actions to gain resources but everything about it really pulls you into the theme of going on a hike so we've got our little hiker meeples here for example uh, the wildlife bear, the resources, even though they are just cubes, are coloured the same as the resources they represent, so that's really nice. Our uh, badge cards are nice and clear. We've got a uh, category, uh, we've got the nice symbol there to denote what type of card it is, uh, resource cost and our points and bonuses. So everything is very clearly laid out across the whole of the card as well as with the uh, photo cards as well which just are lovely absolutely lovely cards if you can see some of those there just really nice uh, pictures of different landscapes so that is uh, that's a nice little bonus there and then of course the tiles themselves just very very picturesque and their night sides as well equally the same so overall, very, very impressed with the component quality of the game. 
Um, I said it's very immersive for something that is essentially an abstract strategy game. So that is good that you've kind of got that pull on the game to really try and tie it to the theme. The gameplay itself, uh, fairly straightforward. You are moving your worker, you're taking an action, you're gathering resources. Um, it brings to mind sort of a smaller version of Tokaido where you decide how many spaces you want to move. In this case, one, two, or using your canteen to move as many as you like. Um, so it really helps to, again, to pull into that theme of going for a hike, going for a trek, and uh, checking out uh, different uh, national parks along the way. Um, Rules-wise, as I say, there's not much to it. It is literally just that worker placement and resource management, but that theme just helps pull that together as well. It's a really good game for people that maybe just want to play something quick, or if you've played Parks, which was the original version of the game, and that's a bit too heavy for you, you've got a nice lighter Euro game here. that also serves well as a gateway game into the board game's hobby as well. Very rules-like. Uh, very user friendly um, and the imagery just really helps to uh, appeal to a lot of people so overall uh, really really enjoyable game fantastic just for a nice light game uh, maybe in between something else or if you're playing with someone that's maybe uh, learning to play board games for the first time if you want to give Trails a go, it is now available in the board games library, so you can come along to the shop, just £2 per person for the whole day. You can try out Trails as well as a whole range of other games. It's also available in the shop as well. So if you really like it, you want to take a copy home, or you know someone that you think would be uh, really into this game, you can purchase it uh, from the shop and on our website as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the boardroom.